Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. I don't know, man. I don't know about this. Quit worrying. Eh? Think of it as Christmas. The Russians are with Santa. Headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Ha, ha, ha. 